Hello everyone, welcome to biology class. In this class, we are going to see 9th Standard Biology, Chapter 17, Animal Kingdom, Textbook Exercises. First, choose the correct answer. Find the group having only marine member. Marine members means those organisms that live only in case of sea or ocean. They are referred to as marine members. So, the answer is Echinodermata. Mesoglia is present in. So, Mesoglia is a jelly-like substance and it is found in case of Coelenterata. Which of the following pair is not a poikilothermic animal? So, poikilothermic animal are nothing but the cold-blooded animal. So, they are asking which of the following pair is not a poikilothermic animal? So, in case of uh, uh, classes such as fishes, amphibians, reptiles, aves and mammals, the first three that is Pisces, Amphibia, Reptilia be belong to Poikilotherm and aves and mammals belong to Homeotherm. So, they are asking which is not Poikilotherm, the answer is aves and mammals. Identify the animal having four chambered heart. So, out of the following, uh, crocodile is having four chambered heart. So, all the given categories are reptiles. So, the reptiles generally have three chambered heart with the exception of crocodile. Crocodile alone have four chambered heart. The animal without skull is. The other name for skull is cranium. And without skull means it is a crania. Hermaphrodite organisms are Hermaphrodites are organisms that have male and female sex organs in the same individual. So, in this, the hermaphrodite organisms are Hydra, Tapeworm, Earthworm, Acidian. Poikilothermic organisms are, as I already told you, except the aves and mammals, all the other organisms are poikilotherms. So, in this uh, options, option C, fish, frog, lizard, snake are poikilothermic organisms. Air sac and pneumatic bones are present in dash. The air sacs and pneumatic bones are characteristic features of birds. Excretory organ of tapeworm is flame cell. The water vascular system is found in case of starfish. Fill in the blanks. The skeletal framework of porifera. So the skeletal framework of porifera is piculs. Tinidia are respiratory organs in case of mollusca. Skates are dash kind of fishes, they are cartilaginous fishes. The larvae of an amphibian, the larval form of an amphibia is referred to as tadpole. Uh, dash are jawless vertebrates. Cyclostomes are jawless vertebrates. The unique characteristic feature of mammal is the presence of placenta. Spiny anteater is an example for egg laying mammal. So state whether true or false, if false correct the statement. So, canal system is found in sealantrate. So, it is false because canal system is not found in case of sealantrate. It is found in case of porifera. Hermaphrodite animals have both male and female sex organ. It is true. Trachea are the respiratory organ of anilida. It is false because trachea are the respiratory organ of arthropoda. Bipinaria is the larva of mollusca. The answer is false because bipinaria is the larva of echinodermata. Balanoglossus is a ciliary feeder. It is true. Fishes have two chambered heart. It is true. The skin of reptilians are smooth and moist. No. The skin of amphibians are smooth and moist. The wings of the birds are modified forelimbs. It is true. So, the forelimbs are getting modified into wings in case of birds. Female mammals have mammary gland. Mammary glands are nothing but milk producing gland. So, only the female mammal will have the milk producing gland. So, it is true. Next, match the following. So, you have to match the phylum with the example. So, the correct match is seal and terata. The example is hydra. Platyhelminthus. Example is tapeworm. Echinodermata. The example is starfish. And mollusca. The example is snake. Answer very briefly. Define taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science of classification which makes the study of wide variety of organisms easier. 
and it helps us to understand the relationship between different groups of animals what is nematocyst so in case of a seal and rat their tentacles the tentacles are found in the mouth part uh, they uh, have stinging cells those stinging cells are referred to as nematocyst otherwise referred to as nidoblast why seal and rats are called diploblastic animals so the body wall of the seal and rats they have two germ layer that is they have an outer ectoderm and inner endoderm since they have only two germ layer they are referred to as diploblastic animals list out the respiratory organs of amphibians so the respiratory organs of amphibians are gills lungs skin or buccopharynx how does locomotion takes place in case of starfish so the starfish uh, in case of starfish the locomotion takes place by means of tube feet is jellyfish and uh, starfish similar to fish so they are asking whether they are similar if no if they are not similar we have to justify so we know that jellyfish and starfish are not similar to fish because jellyfish belong to sea lanterids starfish belong to echinodermata whereas fishes belongs to the class physis you can also write another difference the sea lanterids and starfish are invertebrates whereas the fishes are vertebrates so this also you can write why are frogs said to be amphibians so the frogs are said to be amphibian because they live in both land and water answer briefly so they are asking give an account on phylum annelida so phylum annelida they are composed of segmented worms annelida are bilaterally symmetrical organisms triploblastic they have three germ layers and they are first true coelomate animals so they have a body cavity or coelom and they have organ system grade of organization and the body of the annelida are divided into segments and those segments are referred to as metamere and they are joined by ring like structures called annuli and the body of the annelids are covered by moist thin cuticle and uh, in case of the locomotor organs ct uh, small bristle or hair like structures and parapodia serve as locomotor organs and the sexes may be separate or united so uh, male and female worms can be present and separately or both in the body of the same individual both male and female sex organs are found that's why they are referred to as hermaphrodites example for annelids include nearis earthworm leech and differentiate flat worm and round worm flat worm belong to the phylum platyhelminthes whereas round worm belong to the phylum ashelminthes so flat worm as their name suggests they have a dorso ventrally flattened body whereas in case of round worm they have cylindrical body and the flat worm do not have a cuticle whereas the round worm have a outer covering called cuticle the flat worms are mostly parasitic in nature whereas the round worms are free living or in some case they may be found as parasites example for flat worm tape worm liver fluke and example for round worm it is ascaris the next answer outline the flow chart of phylum chordata so phylum chordata you know they are having the prochordate such as eurochordata and cephalochordata and subphylum vertebrata so first subphylum eurochordata example ascidian subphylum cephalochordata example amphioxus and in case of subphylum vertebrata it is classified into the vertebrate without jaw and vertebrates with jaw so under vertebrates without jaw only one class class cyclostomata example lamprey and hagfish whereas under uh, vertebrates with the jaw five classes are there classes pisces example shark mullet even you can write as general as fishes class pisces you could write fishes class amphibia frog toad classes reptilia lizard and snake classes apes you can write any of the birds pigeon ostrich crow etc 
class mammalia rabbit man even you could write any animal like a horse or a monkey etc list five characteristic fe features of fishes the first point the fishes are poikilothermic they are cold blooded and they are aquatic vertebrates and they have jaws the body of the fish is streamlined and the body is divisible into head trunk and tail and locomotion that is movement in case of fishes takes place by means of paired and median fins and the body of the fishes is covered with scale and respiration in case of fishes takes place through the structure called gill and the heart is two chambered heart an auricle and a ventricle comment on the aquatic and terrestrial habits of amphibian so you know amphibians are able to survive or live in both land and water and they are the first vertebrate to live on land and the amphibia have dual adaptation and hence why they are called as amphibious and the skin of the amphibians is moist and have mucus gland and respiration in case of amphibians takes place by means of gills lung skin or bucco pharynx next how are the limbs of the birds adapted for avian life so avian means uh, those organisms that is the birds that are having the capability of flying the birds the body is having spindle shaped and the body is covered by means of feather and the four limbs of the birds are modified into wings and the hind limbs they are adapted for walking perching or swimming perching like holding things uh, grasping a branch etc bones in case of birds are air filled such kind of bones are called pneumatic bones so due to the presence of this air filled bones and air sacs the body weight of the bird becomes light next answer in detail characteristic features of prochordates so prochordate means they are the forerunner of vertebrates and based on the nature of the notochord the prochordate is divided into urochordate and cephalochordata first we let's see subphylum urochordata here the term uro refers to tail so since the notochord is present in the tail region it is referred to as urochordata the adult form of sessile that is fixed in a place and they mostly degenerate and the body is covered by a, a covering and it is referred to as tunic or test and cephalochordata are nothing but they are small marine like mar sorry fish like marine chordate and with unpaired dorsal fins and here the notochord will extend throughout the entire length of the body and uh, example is amphioxus given account on phylum arthropoda arthropoda is the largest phylum of animal kingdom very very important objective also and they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelomate animal and the body of the arthropoda is divisible into head thorax and abdomen and each segment that is head thorax abdomen each will be having a pair paired jointed legs so due to the presence of this jointed legs only they are called as arthropoda the exoskeleton of arthropoda is made up of chitin and uh, as the animal grows the exoskeleton is shed off and this process of casting off and regrowing of the exoskeleton is referred to as molting and the body cavity in case of arthropoda is filled with hemo lymph so this act as its blood in arthropoda the blood does not flow inside the blood vessels and just it circulates throughout the body cavity since blood is not going to flow inside the blood vessel they are referred to as open circulatory system and respiration takes place through the body surface gills or trachea trachea refers to air tubes and excretion takes place by means of malpighian tubules or green glands and sexes are separate and example you have many examples prawn crab cockroach millipede centipede spider scorpion etc so that's it we have completed the textbook exercises of chapter 17 animal kingdom meet you in the next class thank you